every month here on News 12, we recognize and honor the men and women who are called upon to do their best when things are at the worst for us. They're the law enforcement officers, firefighters, and EMS teams we know as first responders. Tonight, we salute two Collegedale police officers for doing their regular jobs, but for also taking it one step further. News 12's Bill Mitchell has tonight's first responders report. Police officers on patrol usually make dozens of calls in a day's work. Most of the time, it's routine. They write a report and then move on to the next call. But sometimes the work doesn't end when they change into civilian clothes. Bob Herco and Michael Westfield in Collegedale are two examples. Our little boy Declan was diagnosed with RSV, and five days after his diagnosis, he stopped breathing at home, and so we had to call 911. Quick work by EMTs got the baby breathing again and on to Children's Hospital. Herco and Westfield responded to that call last December, but they didn't forget it later. They called the next two days to check on us and Declan, and then they came to the hospital um, to check on us, and they brought um, gifts for Declan, for Ames, and for Adam and I, and have continued to check on us. We got the boys some stuff. We got the parents a gift card. You know, during a high-stress situation, you just may need some dinner just real quick and just to get away from it all for a minute. All the families are important to us. But this one, this one got in our heart, and we wanted to show them that we are there, that we are dedicated to them. We do care about them on and off duty. Unfortunately, little Declan died 18 days later in the hospital, but the officer stayed in touch with Courtney, her husband Adam, and their other son Ames. These days, it seems to be pretty easy to criticize the people who risk their lives daily for the people they serve. A lot of people only see some of the negative things and unfortunately there's a lot of good that officers do every single day that they don't get any recognition and of course they don't do it for recognition. Officers Bob Herco and Michael Westfield believe there's more to their job than just what they do on duty. We believe they're deserving of our first responder of the month award for April. They're pretty incredible men. <laughs> In College Dale, Bill Mitchell, News 12 Now. Awesome story. And yes. if you'd like to nominate a law enforcement officer, firefighter, or EMT for our first responder award, send us the information on our website. That's WDEF.com. All right. And everybody put 